So now that you've experienced the joys of mud, I'm going to show you how to make this fully automatic and afk able mud farm. Then I'll show you how to operate it, and then I'll show you why it works. Let's go. To start this farm, place a double chest, or however many chests you would like, um, to collect the mud blocks. Then place a hopper going into that, three blocks going this direction, three blocks going this direction, and three blocks going this direction. So this grid right here is going to be your collection unit. So just go ahead and fill this in right here, and then add a lip so the water does not come pouring out. Also, make sure when you're doing this to place a uh, translucent block of some sort above the chest so you can still access it. Then go ahead and place two pieces of water like this. So any items that you get always end up in the chest. Now from the back of the farm, build out two, and then up two from the center. Break the scaffolding right here. And place one more block like this. Make sure these are obsidian, okay? Or something that won't break uh, due to TNT blast. Very important. Next, go to the front left corner when you're facing um, the obsidian and place a block like this. On the block, uh, place a torch. On top of there, place some redstone with a repeater facing over here and into this block right here. Then go ahead and place yourself a um, seven pistons like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then build this along, find the center block, place a target block here, and build this out uh, like so. Now this right here is purely to prevent a massive TNT explosion later on, so very important that the target block is here. But as you can see, the piston still pushes at the same time and works just fine. So now we're going to build the TNT duper. And I'd recommend doing this part now, just in case you mess up the TNT duper, um, so you wouldn't blow up your entire machine and have to rebuild it. So from here, go three up and place your TNT. Then branching off from this, place three slime blocks like so. Dead coral fan of some sort right there, and an oak fence. Then in front, place one slime block there, two more like this, and then two more down. Then go ahead and place your detector rail uh, facing in this orientation so the minecart does not fall off. And place your minecart on top. Then grab yourself a sticky piston. And place it as such, very delicately. Then grab yourself a button. And make sure the machine works. So if you fire it, it should connect up and look something like this. And if you hit it again, TNT will get launched right here, and it all checks out. Cool. So, be careful not to update this TNT. It will explode. Next, head up here and place three building blocks like so with redstone on top. Then make a five block long pathway and put repeaters on each one. So, one, two, three, four, five, and make sure all of these are on max delay. Again, if you don't do it, your machine will most likely implode. Then build out another chain going this direction. And put a piece of redstone here. And do the exact same thing all the way out with six repeaters. And again, make sure they are on full delay. Very important that this is correct. Now all you want to do is place a sticky piston with a, an observer like this, one block away from the redstone uh, when it's unpowered. Then one block forward, place a sticky piston with a block. Place one solid block right there and a lever on top. So this right here is your TNT duper and once you activate the lever it uh, is perfectly timed so that the TNT will not blow itself up. And as soon as you want to turn it off, all you have to do is flick this lever once more and the thing will naturally shut off. Just uh, don't don't spam click this, okay? That'll uh, cause some problems. So now head over to this furthest right piston um, when facing the obsidian and facing the farm in general, and build yourself an obsidian structure that looks something like this. Again, make sure it's obsidian. Very important here. Next, grab your dispenser, place it up top, get out your glass panes, and place two of them in this manner, and place your water up top. Next, go ahead and build out one block from this dispenser and place a, a dropper going into it. 
below this dropper, face a dispenser forward, and grab a hopper and put it into there. Then, um, going underneath this uh, dispenser, make sure it's not actually under the dispenser, just right out in front of it, have a hopper going in this direction. Then place a dropper here, a dropper facing up, another dropper facing up, so three total, and a hopper going into the original dropper. So go ahead and locate your original dropper and place a half slab uh, on the dispenser below it. Next, place a repeater and add one tick to it. Place a block up top, a block to the side, and a piston facing the machine. Then place a little bit of a redstone here. Two more blocks in a pattern like this. Have redstone go down. And finally, uh, place two more blocks to the side and have redstone um, go into this dropper and hopper. Next, make sure you have your five bottles and put it in this very particular order. Place a water bottle in this dispenser and then go ahead and place um, bottles in the rest of these droppers, which include this top one right here, the one right here, one right here, and one right here. Make sure these are also all separate and that there's nothing else in these droppers. Once you're set, find this rightmost piston once again and place two blocks of your choice, oak sign, chest on the bottom, and a hopper going into the chest with a carpet on top. Then out of this, um, dig slightly down and place a dropper with a hopper going into it, an observer facing uh, like this so that the uh, input is into the dropper. Place a few scaffolding blocks, sticky piston, and make sure the observer, uh, the second one, is facing outward. And the scaffold blocks can go. Once that's complete, go ahead and build up a tube of blocks, uh, whichever material you prefer, um, for uh, your items to be brought back up to your head level. I would greatly prefer or uh, recommend glass just because I think it looks really nice. But as long as it's not redstone powered, you should be fine. Now go ahead and grab some water. And make sure all of these are source blocks. Okay, very important. So, source, source. Uh, boom. Block. Source and source. Don't put a source block here. So, now as soon as you test this out, if you would like. Put our power source. Perfect. So for the final step, place a scaffolding block right here, a sticky piston on that, and an observer facing into the sticky piston so that when it uh, is pushed, it fires into the dropper. Then place two blocks like this, a scaffolding block right there, and build out um, about three. Next place three more repeaters, uh, make sure they're full tick once again, and cool. Then over here, place a block, redstone dust, build this over, and place one more repeater um, there just to extend it a little bit more to make it uh, to make sure it is on time. That doesn't need any um, tick delays at all. So after that, you're gonna wanna do the same thing up here you did down here. So a block out, you're gonna wanna place an observer with a sticky piston, piston forward a little bit with a block. Place a block right here, one down, and I would recommend first, um, don't place the torch here yet. So place a block, well, one diagonal down, build this over, and build that up one so it looks uh, like a little smile. Then place your lever here, turn it on, place a redstone torch right there, and make sure that does not eject the observer, then place redstone and a torch, and make sure you don't do what I did there, that was bad. So place those blocks in a little later than I did. Um, observer in, block in, and then make sure your bottles didn't get messed up. A very high, yep, very high chance they did. So uh, I'm gonna uh, fix that real quick, and uh, we'll do a quick test, and I'll show you how it works. Or, and how to work it too. So, the machine's done. And, unfortunately, operating it isn't as easy as I'd like it to be. But, it's not the worst in the world. 
Just uh, make sure you follow these steps um, very carefully. So go ahead and get your dirt. To make dirt, uh, mud, you need a bunch of dirt. Throw said dirt into this chest right here, as much as you would like. And then go ahead, actually, you're gonna need some more dirt. So grab a stack of dirt, keep uh, one stack for yourself, and then grab any other block, any type you want. Uh, as long as it's not dirt, just so it does not stack. So fill, it, fill up your inventory. Uh, there we go. So, now what you have to do is flip the TNT lever first. Don't double flip it, just tap it once, and let it begin. So that's all set. Next, come into this position right here on top of the carpet, and place one dirt uh, preemptively on the machine. So, as, um, as soon as you flip this lever, you have a very short time to get your cursor onto- Oh, I forgot something very important. I am so sorry. Place one more slab right there. Alright, crisis averted. My, I apologize. So, once that's set, uh, as soon as you flip this lever, you have a very short amount of time to uh, hold right click um, and, f and look at this piston face. So, flick off, hold right click, and face the piston face. So, now the machine's working, and unfortunately I can't give you a third person perspective, but I will show you in a second. Um, oh, the mud we collected. So, now all you have to do is sit here, and you'll infinitely produce mud until you run out of dirt. So, if you've been sitting here for a while, if can get your mud on, and you want to turn this machine off, um, the best way to do it is to wait for a specific moment when the block is placed, and then you want to aim for the lever, so... Boom. Okay, good. So, that's the best way to do it. Um, if you don't, the bottles will probably get messed up, and you will need to um, fix this entire thing. And by fix it, I mean just, you know, replace the bottles. Have uh, three glass here, and or uh, three, four glass bottles here, and a water bottle in this one. And uh, after you're out of there, you can just click this once, and it'll be off. So, now you're all set. And if we go look at our mud container, it is filled and looking nice. Alright, so now that's all, that's all done, uh, the tutorial is done, and my explanation is shown. I'm gonna tell you how this thing works, because I'm generous like that, and because I think this is cool as shit. So pretty much the way mud is made is that, um, with the 1.19 update, or when it will come out, I'm currently in a snapshot, as you can see. Um, mud is pretty much made by right-clicking dirt with a bottle of water. Or, you can actually also use a dispenser with a bottle of water, which is what this entire system is based off of. So the way this thing pretty much works is that each time this fires, uh, your it starts up top, so your glass bottle in the dropper gets fired into here, and since this block is powered, this dispenser also fires. Cool little trick I learned from my bee farm. Um, so this gets fired, since this is facing into the uh, dispenser, it goes in. Since this block is getting powered, this then fires. That causes um, the bottle to become full of water. This hopper then collects said bottle, and since uh, the thing operates extremely quickly, uh, thanks to uh, the observer and the tick, the hopper can only pull it out once the water bottle is full. The water bottle then gets put down into this dispenser, which is the one that actually fires um, the water bottles into the dirt. So once this fires, uh, the water bottle turns into a empty glass bottle. And thanks to the little setup right here, this uh, dispenser actually double fires each time this goes out once. So it fires with the water bottle once, emptying it, and then it fires again, dropping its uh, glass bottle down below. Then this hopper down here uh, simply puts it into this dropper. This dropper goes into here, which goes into here, which goes in here, which resets the entire machine. So pretty much each time this fires, um, since again, a redstone uh, pulse right here, this block right down here gets powered, and the piston fires, pushing the dirt. This also does, however, um, as you can see, since this block is being powered, this dropper is powered. Um, and thanks to bud powering, this is also powered. And then you have this line of redstone down here that powers this. So pretty much each time this goes forward, uh, the bottles all cycle around once. Um, and that's why you need the four bottles in the particular order. Uh, the glass panes right here are for nothing, I just think they look nice, uh, rather than full blocks. And the obsidian is obviously here for the blast protection. Uh, without it, the machine would be too close to the TNT, and it would self-destruct. So, we have the mud maker. That's pretty snazzy. Uh, right here is a just a simple, good old-fashioned um, timer. Turn this on. This goes out, uh, which causes a one-tick pulse. 
which travels around in a loop. And since this block's here, uh, the repeater powers it, goes here, and just keeps traveling in a loop. Now this is time for exactly, or um, the time you need is 0.8 seconds uh, for this machine to be at optimal speed. But I always like to add at least a tick or two uh, to make sure the machine doesn't overload itself. So this is slightly, slight, this is one tick slower than it actually could be, thanks to this thing right here. But I don't think it's worth it. I, I'd rather have the, the safety that the machine, you know, won't implode on me. So, down here is where uh, UAFK, and this is also a super simple uh, machine. Pretty much, this is a um, infinite loop, and you pretty much have your dirt, it gets fired, uh, and since you have all your inventory full and just one hand of dirt, uh, your inventory will only get filled up with dirt. Any dirt you do not collect will get caught by this hopper, gets put in bulk storage, and gets put in the dispenser to be fired back up. So, it's just a giant loop that keeps feeding you dirt, so you don't actually have to come back and keep uh, refilling your hop bar. Right here is a super simple pusher, um, like used in most cobblestone farms. So, block goes here, uh, that gets powered, redstone then gets powered, which powers all of this right here as such. This right here is dropped down um, purely, just so it does not interfere with the TNT. This get If this gets any updates, um, it just drops a piece of TNT and it is the worst thing to clean up. Okay, please be very careful with this. It is awful. <laughs> So make sure you do this, very important. Obviously right here is a TNT duper, but it has a slight change. These two slum blocks right here actually give the TNT its forward momentum. So that allows you to fire it. It'll get caught right here. And thanks to the positioning of the obsidian and the TNT, it will only damage these blocks right here. Uh, normally you could just put this up really high and drop it off, but I thought, I thought that this uh, was a lot more compact and made it a lot nicer. Right here is a total of, I think, one, two, four seconds, and um, one extra repeater, so 4.4 uh, seconds, just to make sure the TNT does not blow up on itself. If that happened as well, the entire thing would go bye-bye. And yep, you got the same circuit right up here. As you can see, goes around, fires once, gets launched thanks to the slime box, and explodes just on time that it does not damage anything else. And I kind of want to get the slime block out. Nice, that's a, I love this thing, this thing's cool. And of course, luckily this is designed so once you take it off the letter, it does not blow you up. And the only thing left is this collection unit down here, which is uh, pretty self-explanatory. Water into a hopper, which collects your uh, precious, precious mud. So, that's the entire machine. A uh, fully automatic mud maker, and I think it might honestly be the first mud maker in all of Minecraft. I mean, someone's probably made one, but hey, first one on YouTube means I did it first. So, yeah. Uh, if anyone wants to improve this design, I would love that. I think this one's pretty solid, but uh, like most things, it probably could be improved. Uh, just, uh, if you use my uh, video as a base, please, uh, please, uh, you know, link it in the description, credit, whatnot. Um, but yeah, no, I'd, I'd love for people to try to upgrade this thing, because I think this is a really cool fucking machine. Especially this right here. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. And if you did, uh, drop a comment. Uh, like, give me some suggestions. I don't know, whatever. And uh, go enjoy your mud homes. Peace.